Warning, the following video contains memes, laughs, and scenes of a wholesome and base nature. Your discretion is advised. Rated W for Wilhelm. Hello everybody, I'm Dan here from the Hero Game Channel. Welcome back to, and I can't believe I'm saying this, The Adventures of Kaiser Wilhelm. We're back. We're back so soon. Thank you to the lovely mod developers. They have slapped the New of Britain with this fantastic uh, Death to the Revolution part of the tree now. And part of it has the Hubert regime, where a new king can be elected. And when I say king, I mean holy crap. You can literally elect a member of any monarchy to the throne. And one of them, of course, being the wonderful Kaiser himself. So that is what we're going to be doing today. I cannot believe it, so big up the uh, the mod developers. What we need to do is we just need to um, have Mosley fail his revolution and have uh, our General Herb uh, Hobart um, basically take the reins and then uh, we've got a couple of events down when we do the Return of the True Britons that'll eventually open up his route. We've also got the Atlee Cabinet, uh, the Legionary Triumph, and the Ramsey Cabinet. But uh, who cares about all this jazz? We just care about getting uh, Kaiser Wilhelm's ass on the British throne. So let's start with the 1936 Congress of the Trade Unions. It's just got to be T. Lawrence for our first spy. It's just got to be... Oh, I was hoping the Sorleans were going to pop up, but uh, Leon Johox is here and they're going to be pretty boring. And sadly, Germany is currently being affected by Black Monday. Poland. Poland, what are you doing? The People's Republic. Totalists. I think Germany should just crush you straight away and there's Mosley being elected. The Maximus have power. This is a pretty important event for what we want to do. We cannot have Percy Hobart stop being a general. We can't get rid of him. He has to be ignored at this point. We have to ignore that claim that there is anti Mosley stuff going on in the background. The hell, Germany's just randomly sent an expedition to Afghanistan. Since when the hell did they do that? Oh, it's revolution time. Declare martial law. Then the restoration is counter coup. Horner sucks, so we don't want him. Death to the revolution. Here it is. Only the Windsors can save us. Pfft. Only Kaiser Wilhelm can save us. So we're going to become the Provisional Government of Great Britain. And now we can do this part of the tree. So, death to the revolution. Oh, poor Mosley. We found him. He was hiding out in Birmingham. Uh, his office had been hit by a tank shell that came through the window. And it had ripped off his left leg. So he was found by our troops on the ground sobbing and grabbing the stump where his left leg once was. And yeah, he uh, tried to demand that he be, uh, well, he faced trailed as befitting a British citizen, and he was promptly shot by uh, Private James Teton. So yeah, he is gone. And finally, the Trade Union Congress has been dealt with as well. The remaining members, most are already in jail, dead or in hiding. However, the remaining members were trying to meet today, and uh, Hobart and his troops basically locked them in the room they were taking the meat in and gave them the ultimatum. Leave and live or stay and die. So some stayed, some left. So yep, there, it's, it's no more. It's gone. Ah, perfect. We still get the revolutionary synthetic oil national spirit as well. So happy days for that. Not that we're going to be blocked off from getting oil anyways if we join the Reichspact. So the choice we're taking here is send these bastards home with their tails between their legs. So if you take this option, it opens up the uh, legionary triumph. And you can do this part of the tree. So tell them to bugger off. So for the offer from the right club event, uh, do not click anything to stop the syndicalists. That opens up, uh, I'm guessing, the Ramsey cabinet and the uh, the Catholic Britain. I'll maybe come and do a playthrough on both of these very soon. Or maybe all three, actually. I might check them all out, depending on how I feel. Um, so we need to choose this one. And what's going to happen is the next event is going to be Hobart securing power. There he is. He has consolidated his power. Which then opens up the Hobart regime. And all we need to do is we bypass this. We do this focus, this focus, and then we can go ahead and elect a king. So we're very, very close. 
It's that time of the game again where America decides to destroy itself. Here it is. An ass for the throne. Oh, Wilbur has no real love of kings. Cool. Right, well his point is irrelevant. Um, so yes, this opens up 27 choices. Wait, we can... Oh, Spanish Jacobite. i just seen Jacobite. So... Obviously, we're going for the German Empire, but we can do the heir to Romanovs, which is Magnus I, the Bourbon, John II, Rupert of Bavaria, obviously Robert, um, Paul I, Prince Yasuhito of Japan. Oh my days, this is so cursed. Um, Charles Edward, the Duke of Saxe-Coburg Gotha, Charles III, Karel Pio of Austria, I like the head of Clan O'Neill. Logaer, Christian of Denmark, King of Spain, uh, House, heir to the House of Bonaparte, King of Romania, the Amadis of Italy, King of Sweden, heir of Bulgaria, the King of Portugal, the King of Albanians cannot be done right now. They need to do long live King Zog. Spanish Jacobite, Prince of Liechtenstein, Franz Joseph I, uh, Bernhard of Netherlands, the King of the Serbs, uh, Pavlos of Greece, Pedro Enrique of Brazil, the Austrian Emperor. Queen Willema, Juliana of the Netherlands, and the Grand Duchess of Luxembourg. So there's many, many choices, but of course, all we want is William. Come to us. Look. Oh wait, why did I click that button? <laughs> oh, we look so freaking glorious. Look at them. We could form our own faction, the Commonwealth, but that makes zero sense. I think it's only right we join the Reich's Pact. So the Kingdom of Britain is now with the German Empire. And thankfully, we do not become a puppet, because that would be crap. We're going to have to read this glorious, glorious event. Wilhelm looked outside the window of his Junkers plane, scowled at, uh, scowled at the crowd. They were shouting obscenities, hurling insults as well as objects. Few reached as far as the plane, since the police kept them at a safe distance away. Yet while their projectiles fell, their words reached his ears unhindered. Wilhelm turned to his Chancellor, who brought he had brought with him. Why did we do this again? These baboons don't know... <laughs> Civility from barbarity. They are still tainted by syndicalism, the Kaiser declared. We could have the power deal. Could have the power to deal with them, Chancellor said. Uh, the Kaiser waved them off. He wanted to spend a minimal amount of time here. And he felt the people wanted the same as him. When he left the plane, he was hurriedly taken to Westminster Abbey, where he was crowned in the short ceremony as William V. As he left, Wilhelm ran into Hobart, who glared at him. I don't want this just as much as you, but we need this if we are to beat France. So suck it up and wipe the sneer off your face. Now get the f Fuck off my country, Hobart said. Willem opened his mouth as if to say something, but then for once in his life thought better of it. Instead, without another word, he got back in his plane and left London, never to return. Wow, so he's, he's basically never going to actually be in the country, but he is leading us nonetheless. I am... Eek... Verd... Sterben... Bever... England... Fiederzein. I don't think that's pronounced very well, but hey-ho, I gave it a try. Sorry to any Germans watching, I butchered your language. We do have a little choice here, we can do the militarist constitution and get the cult of Hobart, but uh, I fancy doing rigged elections. Democracy under Hobart's eyes. We both we get the additional recruitable population from both, so I just feel like this one's a bit more all-rounded. And who doesn't love rigged elections? Well, I said we're supposed to change the military government there. Um, yeah, we're now the United Britain Party with zero popularity. Ah, the British election in 1937, so I guess I do get to change the military government now. United Britain Party, Tories. Oh, no, we're not having any of you guys win. The United Britain Party. Yay, we have some popularity now. Woohoo! Great, we should we should have just stuck with the military constitution, I think. So we have another choice now in regards to our economy. I think we're going to keep it regulated. Minus five pence of our goods rather than gain. Yeah, we'll go for keep the market in check. And then we get Hobart orders the economy of bays. Cool. Then we've got a couple more. We're very close to being able to rebuild the empire. And I think hopefully my first target will be Ireland. Ah, the Eurasian Union has formed under Pytor. And the Merkulov clique is here under Merkulov, surprisingly enough. That's quite good. Cuba has joined the Reich's Pact, which means I do have a good old chromium source, if we ever need it. 
which we may later on down the line. Um, I'm actually going to be trying a couple of new templates uh, this playthrough. Uh, we'll see how well they actually work. Um, yeah, we're going to change it up for once. Being different. As you'll notice actually. Improved light SP anti-tank. Just, just ignore them for now. They'll, they'll come into action maybe in like 1945, but they'll be here at some point. Oh, it's big wartime in China. Oh, the Shandong clique. One, wow, um, and they've aligned themselves with the Feng Shian government, so that could be disastrous for Qing, who's probably going to lose once again. Yep, Qing's now fighting a two-front war, so yep, if San Dong joins in, I think they're doomed. Oh, I feel so bad, the Irish are flirting with us. We'll take it for the time being. I feel so bad because we are going to absolutely destroy them. Wow, Qing died very quickly, holy crap. They always do, actually. They always get slapped around. Congratulations, Confederation of Novorussia. You have killed yourselves. You've declared war on the Reichspact. Anyways, full political dominance. We changed absolute control of the military to unbreakable control of the military. And we can finally start to rebuild the glorious, glorious empire. There we go. It was only a matter of time before the National Pacification Army faction set itself up. We've got Feng Xian, Sandong, Shang Zi, and Shi Han. I don't think I'm pronouncing that right. They're all united. Uh, and then Yang Zhao, Yunnan and Hunan are all together in the United Chinese Provinces. Well, well, well. This is what we unlock. Restore Anglo rule over Egypt. Cool. Regain a foothold in India. Regain a foothold in the New World. Well, the Dominican Republic is the only one we can really invade now. Because obviously Cuba is with us. Um, Demand Ireland's annexation, demand Ireland bends the knee, invade Ireland, or uh, renounce the Irish claim. I think we will demand their annexation. We'll give them a chance to join us willingly. Ireland, Ireland, Ireland. Oh well. To arms. Go and secure Cork. There we go. That's the money maker. Oh, perfect. We managed to cut off Belfast. And we have taken it. Nice. 482 casualties. I think that has to be one of me ma, me ma. Uh, that has to be one of my most successful invasions of Ireland on this mod. My most unsuccessful one cost me a hundred thousand plus men. So we'll just pretend that never happened on a live stream. Please don't go and try and look for it. It's somewhere there on the channel. Please don't find it. The fates of Ireland. Like the British, we do not fear a few potato farmers, but but we are we are the British. Oh, we got another wee decision. Fated Ireland, set up the Irish Socialist Republic. Well, that's not happening. Uh, Ireland must be directly ruled by London, which gives us the IRA. Or give Ireland only limited autonomy. Ah, they're going to be directly ruled by myself. And if the IRA are going to be kicking around, I, I, I wouldn't be shocked if there's maybe a revolt that happens. So we'll just, we'll just stick around in the key strategic areas. The ports. I just realised that they are guaranteed by the Indo-Chinese Union, so yay, we're also at war with them. That's fine, because I'm sure Germany East Asia would love their territory back, so we'll help them get that. And if Communist France wants to send me troops again, they love us. They love us so much. We're actually doing... Okay, we haven't really moved much, but we've killed 141,000 of them. The airfield is going to help with air superiority. Uh, you may notice that there's a second invasion set up for this other port in Dhaka. Um, T. Lawrence is on his way with a fresh batch of 12. Hopefully they can help. Just uh, turn things in our favour a little bit more. Why does Canada always get a hard-on for intervening in the Civil War? It's pointless. Should we get ready to deal with the Third National? Oh wow, da Daka was right there for the taking. Without any, any resistance whatsoever. Great play by us. Their whole army is stuck in here. I think we've taken we've taken a few more casualties, but they are very close to dying. Oh, it's right there. Take it. That should be enough to kill them. Oh ho ho! What a win! Tell you what, having six research slots in 1939 is a little bit overpowered. But I'm not going to complain. It's fantastic. Go ahead and force attack. See if we can just break them. Well, it does appear that we're going to be doing that. That is good. Perfect, we actually landed in the port itself first. Perfect, we have made the ideal landing over here. So, go ahead and start pushing. We'll set up the rest of this invasion because we've already got six in play. 
Here we go. They're ready to go. Oh, perfect. Saigon has fallen. Hopefully I'll just be able to return this to Germany East Asia. I'm not exactly wanting direct control of it. They'll eventually lose it again to Japan anyways, so this is kind of pointless. Okay, it's apparently been two years since we annexed Ireland. We can maintain the status quo. We can let them be free or do Operation Demetrius. Drastic times call for drastic measures. Let's do it. Ah. Oh dear. Um, well, I, I, I knew it was coming. Uh, only three of our divisions remain over here right now. Come on, boys. Oh, nice. The Indo-Chinese Union died. Perfect. Uh, we'll take it in its entirety, but I will be returning it to our glorious allies. Yep. Return it all. They don't actually have claims on any of it now. Oh yeah, it's second Velcraig time. It's time to return home to help the Germans defeat the Commune of France, our not-so-long-ago allies. Oh yeah, bugger Poland. There we go. Ireland has been defeated a second time. Hoping we're going to get a core on that very soon and the IRA are not going to be a problem anymore. Ah, nice. Ask and you shall receive. The IRA have been defeated. Perfect. So this is all juicy core territory now. Oh, Dutch land has been forced into the uh, Reichspact because the Communist of France sides uh, around the Ludendorff even though they hadn't even taken up Belgium. Oh, finally Poland's been defeated. Well done, Germany. Well done. Ah yes, the Halifax Conference. I'm sure this is going to end well, as it always does. Oh wow, the French have agreed to join Mutual Europa. Okay, so far so good for the conference. Ah, the German-Japanese War. Well, on the plus side, at least Vietnam and Laos are all... All good. They're under my protection. It's just the rest of Germany's Asia that's not. Uh, the French state have renounced Alsace-Lorraine. Seriously? How is this going so well? Holy moly. It's it's actually worked. It's it's actually worked. It would appear the uh, Eurasian Union is losing. They have 37 to 108 divisions. So good on Germany there. This front seems to be solidified, which is good. We'll maybe try naval invade? Can I join the second Velcraig, please? I swear, if that's put me at war with everybody. No, perfect. Happy days. I only want to fight the Commune of France right now. Nice, that's Brest under our control now. Start pushing out. Take Cherbourg, please. Seem to be doing pretty well in the south. What I might do is, I might just get them to just dig in now. Why are they using tanks to defend Cherbourg? Seriously? And there's no way that nine flipping submarines are intercepting mine. No, <laughs> no way. Well, both fronts have connected up, and I'm gonna go aggressive, and we're just gonna redistribute ourselves slightly. Well, Paris has fallen to British troops. Happy days. Oh, nice. We got a couple of encirclements up here in the north. Lille is. Probably going to be a hard nut to crack because of that fortification that they have. Oh, actually, nope, scrap that. It looks like they're going to fall. Dijon's fallen. Marseille, we're getting close to Marseille. And just like that, France is dead. I now have loads of guns. And the Third International is no more. Happy freaking days. Perfect. So I gave Germany all of France because they have a deal with a French state to let them come home. So I'm going to let them do that. I took, uh, you know, Italy. Southern Italy because I deserve something from this war. Uh, we're now at peace. Oh, no, we're not. That's a lie. Uh, we're, we're with Malta. <laughs> Apparently. Nice. We have ourselves the two Sicilies. So I might maybe just pay the Italians a visit because they're in their own faction and I think they'll be stupid enough to die pretty easily. Uh, excuse me, France. Did you just betray us? Did, did you seriously just give us the giant middle finger and not join me to Europa? Wow, you, you really did take a leaf out of Italy's book, didn't you? I thought better you, Philippe. Actually, no, I didn't. Scrap that. Did Russia just die? Oh no, I was wanting to be in the war so I could actually sort the peace deal. Oh no. Uh, it could it could have been worse. I, I don't know why Ukraine decided to take those bits of land, but cool. Hopefully Germany does something sensible with it. Well, I don't actually believe this, but uh, yeah, the AI actually managed to sort that out. Well, that time has come, guys, where it's time for us to invade Italy. Get them both ready. 
Declare war, call in my puppets, they won't get a choice. I'm going to assume that some of our boys just got encircled, not encircled, um, intercepted. Oh no, nope, they're they're slowly coming. Just want to take the port, I, I feel like that might just be easier doing that. Nice, we sunk a decent bit of their fleet, happy days. 143,000 and it looks like they're dead. 98% of the way. Let's say, it feels weird actually researching all of this stuff right now. Nice, the Italian Federation is no more. Welcome. Hello, France. You know how you basically betrayed us and didn't join our faction? When you were supposed to, as part of the Halifax Conference. Or the outcome of the Halifax Conference. Well, this is what you get for not doing so. This is going to be the easiest invasion we've done so far. They literally have like 38 divisions max. Wow, great, great defense, France. Absolutely fantastic. Well, I wasn't really planning on fighting Austria, but the Ottomans have joined the Sarajevo Accord, which has put Austria and the Ottomans in the same faction, so we are going to have to now deal with both of them. I hate how long it takes to get down Africa. It is so... God damn long. Finally, we've we've made it. We're starting to fight them. Why the Oh no! No! William the Sixth is here now. Ah, <laughs> oh, Kaiser Wilhelm the Second. You will be missed. What is with the death stack of troops? Like what am I actually looking at? It is now time to take over Africa. Shame we can't take out the Nigerian Free State because they're already with us, but that's okay. Everything else will be mine. Farewell, Percy. You shall be missed. We aren't even using you as a general, but you shall be missed. And this is D.E. Lawrence has taken control uh, as our head of government. So good for him. Congratulations. Wrapped in mystery. Intelligence services finally managed to find the man who still regularly solves the hardest crossword puzzles in the country. His name is Alan Turing. We are going to grant him the funds. He is an absolute genius oh no the anti-goring pack's dead oh oh what a oh what a terrible shame well this is awkward portugal it would seem you've got more troops in africa than you actually have at home one german division was able to naval invade and japan's declared war a national pacification army so yep goodbye japan collapse of the portuguese empire happy days and we're pushing in very nicely into the entente down here we're also still at war with zanzibar Oh, I, I didn't even realise Delhi was getting invaded. Cool. <laughs> oh, South Africa, you chose the right side. You chose the right side, indeed. Oh, no, Obama, he's dead. Oh, what a terrible shame. He did it. Inside an enigma. We have got a 1 times 200% research bonus for electrics and 100 political power. Didn't really need the PP. Um, but yeah, I'll take the research bonus, I guess. Thank you, Alan. Oh, hi, Spain. Uh, definitely didn't mean to do that. I, I'm even just defending the French border with my tanks. Of course, David Sterling falls ill when we just start an invasion with him. Really? Whoa. What? Seriously? Seriously? We just peaced out? Wait. Why? Why have we just peaced out Germany? Really? We, we, we've done all that fighting for absolutely no reason. Fantastic. At least I'm getting Spain. <laughs> Welcome back, Juan. You weren't away for long at all. Nothing better to do than get ready to invade France for a second time. Because clearly, I loved it so much the first. Oh, is that right, Canada? Is, is, is that how we're doing this? Alright, okay. Do you know what? I have a funny feeling my tanks could probably just drive right through France because they don't have any divisions, so... Spain! <laughs> Come on down. Really annoy me how Nigeria's not joining the war, but hey-ho, it is what it is. For the most part, it looks like we're winning anyways. Oh, I should really return that territory to Morocco. Morocco! Yes, you can have all your land back. I, I don't know what Spanish lands we still hold, but um, keeping the vital states. Ah, which means Gibraltar. Well, it's time to invade... Hopefully Canada and New England. The good thing is, New England usually has about maybe, I don't know, 100 divisions. They have 2 to 4. And Canada has 14 to 57. So, hopefully, the naval invasions from Cuba here are going to go very, very well. 
Oh, they are defending their co well. Well, I say they are defending their coast. Not very well defending their coast. I'm not shocked that Providence has a death stack in it. Been completely cut off, and Boston's there for the taking. Oh yeah, we've managed to secure a very nice position over here. Perfect. Providence is now ours, so it's now time to just push straight for Ottawa. Oh, Transamur. Sergei, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, but okay, they're at war with the Russian Empire, so Germany's got a new war. The Japanese Empire has collapsed, which I think means they're pieced out with everyone. Ah, nice, I was literally just moving troops out to go and destroy them. Wait, what? The Sylph Slavs under one banner? The Croatian Socialist Republic. Well, that needs to die. Who's this? The Serbian Socialist Republic. Still gonna have a fun war against Austria because I need to get Egypt back from the Ottomans. That's gonna be a hell of a conflict. Ah, uh, yes, we're coming into the capital. We're coming into Vancouver. I don't think they're defending it. Oh, no, they are. They are. Oh, I thought we were in hot water there for a wee bit with our divisions. Yep, yeah, well, I was gonna say we can just attack them from every single direction now. And now Winnipeg's the capital, and we're very close to there, so this is going very nicely. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and secure the rest of this island. Wow, Canada literally had zero equipment left. Right, I know the Germans are currently trying to deal with Transamur, but I'm not going to bother helping with that. That's a nice wing circlement, actually. Um, I'm not going to bother helping with that. I'm going to divert my attention to someone a little closer to home. And it's easily done, because I just want to take out Egypt. So, declare war on Egypt, which will declare war on the Ottomans, and the Ottomans will call in Hungary. Well, I mean Austria, rather. Well then, call on everybody else. Luckily, Austria's not unified for some reason. It's 1943, don't know why they haven't. Nice, the tank divisions have now been changed to have mechanized as the main driving force for them. Seriously, Germany, you're still fighting down Madagascar. Hello, Egypt. So, obviously, we're at war with the Ottomans. There's Austria getting called in. I'll call you into those three wars. Is Germany in a position to join in? Don't think so just yet, but is this them wanting to join? No, that's them asking me to join. Well, we've maxed out our total number of divisions we're allowed. Um, got 30 tank divisions now, so... If we get all of them on that, that's going to be much better for us. Ah, oh, well done! Transamur has died. Perfect. So, can we get the whole of the Reich's Pact actually dealing with this menace now? Nice, we've pushed into Vienna. Where is their capital now? Where's the Austrian capital? Oh, it's there, Graz. And it's been defended by Hungarians. Oh, hey! Nicely done, troops. Nicely done indeed. Surely Austria's gonna die any second now. Prague looks like it's about to get... Well, not Prague, I mean the Czechs are about to die hopefully as well. Yeah, a lot of troops have just been cut off. So we've lost 112k... Oh wow, there's a lot dead. A lot dead. How many uh, Hungarians have we killed? 226k. Go on, Greece and the Reichspack troops down there. You're doing pretty well against Bulgaria. You can have your rightful clay back in the conclusion of this war. We're doing, we're helping our allies regain their territory. And also enslaving other territories, but that that's... We'll just ignore that part. I take it we have air superiority. Yeah, there should be no doubt that we're going to have that. Except from over the Black Sea. Oh, and in Bulgaria, actually. It's only the Ottomans that need to die at this point. 18 to 44 divisions. For an empire, that is absolutely pathetic. Are you kidding me? Why the hell can we not go across? Oh, what an utter load of rubbish. It was Liberia that done the landing over here. Seriously? Yeah, let's see your cavalry defeat my tanks. Not gonna happen. Random carrier just sitting there? Go, go, go tanks. Just straight up to Ankara. <laughs> I don't think the Ottomans have that many left. 21 to 36. Oh, Russia, on you go, boys. We've managed to push to Ankara, so that's fallen. Uh, Baghdad's a capital. Ukraine's driving to that right now. Nice. Um, where's the capital now? It's Bursa. Okay. Well, that's, that's easily solved. Russia's hopefully going to get that as well. No, Russia? Yep, keep going. Yep, keep... Yep. No, 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 no. Yep, yep there we go. There we go. You've got it now. Sorted. Time for the Ottomans to die. Come on. Goodbye to the Sarajevo Accords. 
A shockingly bad faction. There we go. Oh well, hello there, Tito. It's time for you to die. Well, surprisingly enough, this looks like it's going to be a cakewalk for us, so... I think what we'll do is get a tank to just slide through there. I'm going to get ready to take you out because I don't know why you exist in the first place. Madagascar looks like they're finally going to die very soon as well. Nice, Tito is gone. Goodbye. Hey, Germany finally killed Madagascar after what seemed to have been years. Right, time for Stalin to die. It's also time for Serbia to die. Perfect. That was easy enough. And Stalin is getting destroyed from every direction. There we go. They're both dead. Let me just annex both of them. Well, folks, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. The Reichspact does control a very, very large part of the world. Why are you not in the faction? You're a puppet of me, but you're not in the faction. Hilarious. Um, so really, it's only Denmark, Belarus, and Albania who's not with us. Oh, hello, King Zog. Um, obviously, I could have maybe invaded America, but I just can't bother fighting that. Um... And Germany's finished off the Australasian Confederation. But for the most part, we do have a pretty thick empire again. We do have control of all these lovely individuals. So a lot of... So we have Spain on our side. Well, ours anyways. Um, most of the Balkans is ours. Turkey down into Africa. And then a large chunk in here. And also here under our rule. We also do control Northern India. And Bhutan. And obviously some holdings in uh, Vietnam and Laos. So yeah, I think it's been a pretty successful game. And what a very hella-based route this has been. But it was nice to have another episode of The Adventures of Kaiser Wilhelm so soon after I thought I was finishing up. So thank you very, very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I shall be back for another episode of this once another nation is capable of having Wilhelm sit on their throne. So until then, do take care. Sure bye, then now.